Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello and welcome friend in this live session for the course introduction to modern indian political thought and my name is mithilesh kumar jha uh, your course instructor this is the second live session for this course and uh, first few minutes i would like to spend um, uh, responding to the questions which some of you have uh, uh, put up in the google spread sheet that uh, uh, that was provided to you and meanwhile you can also um, write your comments uh, queries in this uh, chat section and i'll respond to them as well after responding to the question which was put on the um, google spreadsheet so uh, first question was by uh, vaisali prasan uh, and the question was uh, about uh, submitting the assignment so um, um, uh, and this uh, question uh, is there on the discussion forum as well and some of you have also um, uh, asked uh, this question about the submission of assignment and many of you uh, missed it for uh, some reason uh, and also uh, many of you have missed it because of some uh, genuine reason medical and otherwise so uh, as you know this uh, uh, um, uh, acceptance of assignment and calculation of uh, the marks is done through uh, uh, a particular um, uh, way where um, after the deadline there is no uh, possibility of accepting any further submission so uh, to answer vaisali question that uh, uh, watched many lectures but could not submit the um, assignment and uh, uh, can we do it to uh, sit for the final exam the answer is this is not uh, possible um, uh, to do so uh, however if you have submitted uh, or you know enrolled for the course and regist uh, registered for the exam and you have submitted about eight assignment that should be enough but uh, at this point of time uh, it's not possible to accept any new uh, submission so if you have submitted about eight assignment that should be uh, 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 sufficient in a sense where uh, out of 12 only based eight assignment is included for the final calculation from the assignment so if you have done it uh, that uh, would be enough but at this point of time it is not possible to accept any further uh, assignment so uh, we are sorry about that then the uh, next question is from uh, Jairam about uh, nature of the final end semester question. So um, as I have uh, discussed with you all in the previous uh, live session as well that um, uh, the uh, final end semester question would be of multiple choice question and there will not be any subjective descriptive type answer and uh, the question would be based on the assignments recall or in a format where uh, we will try to assess your analytical capability in a sense of understanding the concepts um, or uh, the themes and um, uh, s some questions would be based on your understanding of uh, the themes the concepts that we have discussed in the course uh, there would be some question on the basis of recall what you have heard in the lectures and there would be some from the assignments as well so in the final um, end semester exam or the final examination uh, the nature of the question would be multiple choice question and there is no descriptive question okay uh, one question is from Govind and um, that is about the exam or uh, certificate 
Uh, and some of you have been also asking me about uh, the date of examination. And as you know, we are living in this uh, uh, unprecedented situation due to this pandemic. And um, uh, uh, that was the reason why this exam was postponed. And uh, we are not very sure how and when situation will improve. So, at this point of time, we are not sure when uh, the final exam will be conducted, but um, um, uh, people at uh, IIT Madras and the uh, organization involved in the conduct of the exam, they are monitoring the situation and as and when it is feasible for them to hold the uh, uh, exam and um, uh, they decide about the date, you will be accordingly um, informed. So, you can um, uh, visit the uh, course um, uh, web page uh, and discussion forum also and after this uh, live session you can also put up your questions and comments on the discussion uh, forum and have a kind of continued engagement uh, till the exam uh, happens. So, you will be um, duly informed about uh, the exam date as and when uh, it is uh, decided. So, uh, that is about um, the date of exam which is at this point of time a bit uncertain. Uh, about the um, uh, method of uh, uh, grading or certificate which is also part of Govind question. Um, uh, as you know that uh, the final score for this course is calculated on the basis of your performance in the assignment. So, every week you are getting one assignment and you are supposed to submit that uh, assignment before the due date. 25 percentage point is kept for that assignment and 75 percentage point is for the final examination. Now, to pass this course, you have to uh, secure the passing mark in both that is the uh, weekly assignment and also in the uh, final examination. And out of 25, you have to have 10 and more from the assignment and similarly 30 and more than 30 for the uh, final examination. Uh, and as I have said that um, you need to uh, have the minimum requisite from both from the assignment that is 10 and more out of 25 and uh, from the final examination that is 30 and more. So, suppose even if you have more than 40 in the final examination, but you have uh, 0 in the assignment, you will not be um, considered as passed from uh, passed uh, this course. So, uh, that is about uh, the grading. Uh, about the certificate, um, there is a different kind of certificate and these details you can find on NPTEL website as well. So, this course is also for the faculty. So, uh, there is one certificate for faculty development program and then if you score more than uh, 40 and 15, if you score 40 to uh, 59. So, remember 40 is the passing mark 10 from assignment and 30 for the final examination. So, if you score 40 and up to 59, you will get a certificate which is successfully completed. And there is three more category of certificate elite, if you have uh, more than uh, 60 to 74, elite with silver if you have 75 to 89 and elite with gold if you have uh, 90 and above. So, these are different uh, kinds of certificate which you will um, um, get depending upon your performance in the assignments and also in the final exam uh, nation. So, that is my answer to uh, Govin. Uh, Monica Sonawane um, did not mention her question, but uh, I look forward to your question and those of you who have joined us just now, please uh, keep typing your queries and comments. After responding to these questions which was put up on the uh, Google spreadsheet, I will get back to the questions which you are putting on the chat section here. <coughs> so, the next question is by Chaitanya, how the evaluation of the course be conducted as it is quintessential for the award for the award of degree which needs to be done before June end. 
and this is uh, the concern which I am sure many of you uh, will be having and uh, having now also uh, uh, considering this uh, situation we are not uh, very sure as to when this uh, final exam will be conducted. Uh, it all depends on the um, improvement of the uh, situation or uh, uh, getting back to the normalcy. Uh, and uh, uh, so, um, as I said in the beginning that um, um, the IIT Madras team is closely monitoring the situation and uh, they are also um, uh, considering these concerns which you have mentioned and um, uh, uh, when they uh, decide about the feasibility um, keeping in mind the deadline as you have mentioned the June end and other um, um, uh, um, uh, consideration, uh, whenever they make such a decision you will be informed. So, the uh, exam is conducted by the um, uh, 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 organized by the IIT uh, Madras and they take the decision. So, when they take the decision we will be duly informed and at this point of time we are not uh, uh, very sure. Uh, so, uh, and um, this is uh, affecting the regular courses also not just this online uh, course. So, uh, I request you to uh, have patience about uh, that. Um, however, uh, once the exam is conducted assessment for this particular course will not take uh, much time. So, once the exam is over within a few days or a week time your assessment will be done and your uh, grade will be um, uploaded. So, uh, assessment and upgrade um, um, grading will not be a big problem the um, uh, major issue is uh, having the normalcy to conduct uh, the exam. So, um, you have to be patient about that. And then the final question before I come to the um, um, chat section by Vikas Bharati and this question is uh, put up on the discussion forum also by Naresh Raja. Uh, this is about the current situation due to COVID-19. Uh, which uh, he argues that it will take about 2 3 months uh, uh, for the situation to improve so can we have uh, 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 grading on the basis of uh, the performance in the assignment so um, as you know um, it's not uh, possible as we uh, look at the course structure and the course outline and as I have said in the beginning also uh, that there are two components for grading that is your weekly assignment and the final uh, examination. So, it will not be uh, feasible not to have the grading only on the assignment and uh, then Vikas is also asking if that is not uh, uh, feasible. Uh, can you consider having online examination so that students can take exam from home and uh, they do not have to travel in this lockdown. So, uh, this is again uh, a good uh, suggestion, but I am not very sure whether and how far it is uh, feasible. Since you know uh, the conduct of exam requires some uh, degree of supervision by the examiner or the invigilator and uh, especially in this situation however, one can uh, think of conducting the um, exam from uh, the home through some kind of online um, uh, testing. Uh, I am not uh, very uh, sure and once again I will uh, uh, respond that uh, it depends on the uh, IIT uh, Madras. Uh, as to when and how to conduct the exam and when they decide you will be uh, duly, uh, duly uh, informed. So, uh, that is my uh, question to um, and that is my answer to Govin. Uh, sorry, yeah, that is my answer to
Vikas Bharti, uh, Naresh Raja and many of you uh, have also the similar uh, question. So, Naresh Raja is also mentioning here when are we going to have uh, the final exam sir. So, Naresh uh, as I have mentioned that uh, 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 this situation is unprecedented and uh, IIT Madras and along with the organizing agency they are closely monitoring the situation. Uh, as, a, as of now, we are not sure when that exam will be conducted, but whenever that uh, decision is taken, you will be uh, uh, informed. So, uh, have patience about that. And then, uh, Vinnie Arya is asking on what basis we will get marks on assignment, it should submit online mode or offline mode. So, when he, um, uh, you know uh, the um, uh, due date for the submission of assignment is over now as for this course, uh, the date of exam uh, has been postponed. So, uh, now it, uh, it is not possible to accept uh, any uh, new submission of assignments uh, through online and offline uh, mode. So, uh, that is my answer to you. Only thing that is left for the assessment is um, uh, assessment for this course is uh, the final exam. Then Naman Vadhva is asking, sir, what happens if a person has submitted less than eight assignment? So uh, Naman, that's a good question. Uh, uh, you know, as I said that. Um, Ideally, you should submit all the assignments and uh, then you your best 8 assignment will be included for the final grading. That means, the 25 percent is uh, marks that is kept for the assignment, uh, your best 8 assignment, assignment will be included for uh, the calculation of uh, that mark. But suppose if someone has not submitted 8 assignment. But uh, whatever assignment he or she has submitted, say 4, 5, 3, and uh, managed to secure 10 percent, is, that is the minimum for passing the uh, course, uh, that should be uh, uh, okay. Uh, and uh, uh, if uh, uh, overall marks is less than 10, then you cannot pass the course. But even whatever assignments you have submitted and you managed to score 10 or more than 10, out of 25, you uh, will uh, your uh, um, grading will be um, included in the final uh, grading after uh, the final exam. So, that is my uh, response to uh, Naman Vadva. And uh, those of you who have joined us now, I will uh, request you to keep uh, asking your question and comments and I will be very happy to uh, respond. Naman Vadva is also asking, uh, where should we check the marks for assignment? Is assignment 0 also continue? No. So, uh, uh, Naman uh, assignment 0 was uh, for practice only, only uh, from 1st to 12 will be counted for the final grading. And uh, your marks, I believe, I uh, will get back to you on the discussion forum after uh, discussing with the technical team here, but uh, I believe uh, the um, uh, score should be uh, made available to you immediately after submission. So, all the answer is provided, but however, I will uh, check with the uh, technical team and get back to you on the discussion forum on this point about uh, whether you uh, know your uh, uh, score in the assignment for the assignment you have submitted or not. So, uh, that is my uh, response to Naman Vadva. So, anyway um, I hope uh, you have enjoyed this course um, introduction to modern Indian political thought and the thinkers we have done. You can also ask uh, some question related to any of the thinkers and the themes that we have covered in this course and I will be very happy to respond 
And I will also request you to keep uh, posting on the discussion forum uh, uh, and uh, we'll uh, respond to uh, your queries uh, there as well. So, um, uh, until the exam date is announced or exam is over, use the discussion forum for any uh, uh, clarification or any other kind of um, uh, queries that you may have. So, um, So, any um, question on uh, the themes that we have covered, I will be very happy to respond to those as well or any other kind of uh, dots you have. So, most of you are um, really worried about uh, the exam, but as I said that uh, this is a very unprecedented uh, situation and it is really hard to predict uh, when and how situation will improve. So, uh, uh, for the exam date, I will uh, request you to keep waiting on that. So, um, to respond to Naman um, about checking the assignment, so on the progress tab, um, you can figure out um, uh, the marks you have obtained for uh, whatever submission, uh, whatever uh, assignments you have submitted for the course. So, on the progress tab on the uh, uh, course web page, you can find out the marks you have obtained for uh, uh, all the assignments that you have submitted for the course. So, uh, um, let me also uh, discuss some of the major um, uh, issue about uh, this course, which is uh, the relevance or the significance of uh, political thought. And if you look at the um, outline of the course and the thinkers that we have included, uh, you uh, and uh, I request you to um, visit uh, the introductory or the concluding lecture to further uh, develop your understanding of uh, political thought and thinking in modern India. And all these thinkers as I have been um, telling you are those who were actively involved in the politics. So, uh, their uh, thinking or theorization and reflection on many political issues that we have discussed, for instance, the role of religion in politics, the idea of secular uh, nationalism uh, or Hindu nationalism or Iqbal ideas on self and community. All these um, 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 issues are theorized and um, reflected upon by these thinkers who were actively involved in the politics of uh, their time as well. And uh, that gives you um, a kind of introduction to the major challenges or the major uh, uh, disputation that is there on many issues in contemporary Indian politics as well. For instance, how we should define uh, nationhood. Uh, how uh, uh, we should think of uh, India's role in the international uh, sphere, um, what is uh, uh, the uh, global outlook or uh, international views among these uh, uh, political thinkers, the role of caste, how to develop a constitutional morality or liberal democracy. So, these are some of the contentious issue that 
dominates the political discussions in contemporary times as well and uh, the uh, roots of these issue can somehow be um, traced to these uh, pot, uh, political thinkers as well and uh, from this course you can uh, read so this course is a kind of introduction to the uh, modern indian political thought but you can also uh, now read the writings by these uh, thinkers the original uh, writings by these thinkers and then think about the larger theorization about the political issue where you know the tendency is one to have a kind of nativist approach where you do not engage with other tradition of thinking so there is a kind of indigeneity and then there is also the possibility of engagement norman de palmer and others uh, thought we discuss so political thought and the closer engagement with indian political thought i believe will not just uh, help us to understand many contemporary uh, 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 political uh, problems and challenges that we face but also help us theorizing the uh, politics of our uh, time and how we can engage with other tradition of political thinking so modern indian political thought and a closer engagement uh, with uh, this thought should enable us to that kind of theorization also okay so yes naman you got it so good vikas bharti is asking that sir can you throw some light on the similarities and differences between thought of dr b r ambedkar and ram manohar lohia so this is a very good question vikas and i am glad that you asked so um uh, what could be the uh, similarities uh, between these thinkers let's discuss uh, that first uh, as you know lohia was much more uh, rooted in the gandhian socialist tradition and ambedkar was someone who is uh, from the liberal uh, tradition and not necessarily uh, certainly not a gandhian and he was very uh, critical of gandhian uh, position on caste and so on so the similarity between um, lohia and um, ambedkar is that that both of them wanted to create egalitarian democracy in india and what does egalitarian democracy means that there should not be any caste based discrimination that was so uh, obvious so embedded in the social political practices in india so both of them envision a politics or a democracy or the state which would be based on the egalitarian principle where the uh, majority or the um, uh, caste based discrimination uh, or uh, the marginalization of the majority will not uh, will not happen so for them democracy mean uh, that all the um, um, sections of the society particularly those who are historically uh, marginalized and also economically and socially marginalized in the contemporary um, uh, indian politics as well they should not just have a formal sense of equality but they should be empowered socio economically as well to have a stake in the politics of the country to uh, to uh, deepening of the democracy if you like so one of the uh, uh, similarities between um, uh, b r ambedkar and uh, ram manohar lohia is their agreement about how to um, solve or resolve this uh, caste based discrimination in india and um, in post independent time uh, ram manohar lohia tried to engage with this ambedkarites uh, thinking about annihilation of caste and how to use them to unite these uh, bahujan uh, uh, sections of indian society so that is one of the similarities however the difference is that gan uh, uh, ambedkar was uh, someone who was rooted in the liberal uh, tradition of political thought and um, um, uh, was uh, someone who was very radical in terms of his approach to uh, the caste issue and um, he as we have discussed 
on the uh, constitutional morality, his views on democracy, and also his views on caste, the annihilation of the caste, which is very radical. Even Gandhian uh, approach to the caste question or the horizon, he has very um, significant differences from the Gandhian approach. However, Lohia was rooted in the Gandhian uh, philosophy and uh, also trying to develop the socialist uh, position in Indian politics which should be uh, different or distinct from the communist approach on the one hand and the Congress approach on the other hand. And that was the kind of ideological time if you think that from the centrist kind of a Congress position to the extreme left of Communist Party. Lohia was someone who was trying to develop uh, a Panchamadi uh, presidential address, if you uh, uh, recall, a distinct brand of Indian socialism. So, his approach to um, eradicate um, caste or remove caste barriers or make the society, democracy, and state more egalitarian was through the socialist uh, mode of uh, uh, politics, where there was a kind of convergence with the Ambedkarite tradition, but also uh, uh, differences in terms of his ideological uh, uh, um, um, position uh, from the socialist uh, uh, tradition. So, that is my uh, response to uh, Vikas question on the similarities and differences between uh, Ambedkar and Lohia. And I uh, hope I respond to um, your queries. One other difference is, is uh, that uh, for Lohia, if you look at the Saptakranti, Chokamba state, the idea of decentralization or the use of Indian languages, we do not uh, uh, f um, you know, um, find such kind of uh, 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 articulation or so, uh, Ambedkar also has his views on language and um, other things, but Lohia used this language caste to, to uh, create a uh, class which would not be uh, the existing ru ruling class in India. So, for Lohia, language which is the English is also a kind of uh, uh, a status symbol or a kind of entry to the Ruling, uh, ruling class in India. So, Lohia was having uh, a much more um, broader views in terms of different barriers uh, which prevents the majority of Indian people to make uh, Indian democracy more uh, egalitarian. However, Ambedkar was much more rooted in the caste based uh, um, uh, discrimination. So, that is my uh, uh, response to uh, your question. Uh, Naman Vado is sir, it just shows my total points for assignments. How can I see the marks as points are different from passing 20? So, Naman, I think um, um, you um, write the total marks that you have um, obtained on all the assignments that you have submitted. So, one assignment is 10. Uh, for 10 marks. So, 8 assignments would be 80. So, 80 marks you can um, uh, divide, um, uh, make 25 percent and uh, then you can see uh, accordingly how each assignment is uh, say for one assignment for. Um, so, if you have uh, 25 marks for 8 assignment, so in 25 marks. So, for one assignment it would be 25 by 8 something around 3, 3 point something. So, for one assignment and then uh, depending upon your performance within one assignment that marks will be uh, calculated. So, uh, we will calculate and get back to you on the discussion forum. So, you can put up this question uh, there. So, roughly one assignment carries, uh, one week's assignment carries about 3 point some uh, you know 3 3 marks or like that 3.1 uh, 1 1 like uh, 1 2 marks or something uh, uh, like that. So, um, how much uh, marks out of 25 you have uh, obtained will respond on the uh, discussion forum after looking at uh, your 
all all your submission and then uh, we'll respond so i think uh, that is all for uh, today's uh, interactive uh, session and as i have said that please keep uh, visiting the um, discussion forum regularly and uh, uh, write your question comments and we will be very happy to respond to those uh, within 24 hours and very promptly and all the technical kind of questions about the submissions and other problems that you are facing please also uh, mention them uh, there we will certainly get back to you so uh, uh, i'm uh, really glad and appreciate your participation both during this interactive session and also throughout this uh, semester on the discussion forum uh, however i would like to request you to uh, give your feedback on the course the contents or the teaching methodology and um, uh, whatever the learning outcomes that you have experienced so i'll be very happy to hear from you and it help us improve the course contents and uh, pedagogy so uh, i request you to uh, share your feedbacks on the course contents and uh, teaching uh, methodology as well uh, i once again thank you for enrolling and registering uh, for the course and uh, i wish you all the best for uh, the final examination keep uh, safe and uh, keep well uh, good luck for the uh, final exam uh, and uh, let me once again um, thank you and uh, request you to have uh, patience about uh, the final exam so we are living in uncertain times we are not very sure when the final exam will be conducted but as and when uh, this decision is taken we will promptly inform you so uh, till then thank you and best of luck for your final exam thank you all